Right now to an update from the I team. A post on social media is really making the rounds and drawing more controversy to the so-called red light district of San Francisco. More barriers have gone up along Cap Street after neighbors expressed their displeasure about alleged sex workers crowning that area. Yeah, and I team reporter Stephanie Sierra joins us now and she found out the barriers are now really a hot topic because of concern over emergency response times. That's right, Ama and Dan, we're told both the mayor and the fire department are now at odds with how this situation is being handled. And now that the cement barricades are up, residents are happy, but emergency responders are not. The question is, how will the city handle it? Carl Connell couldn't be more relieved to see city crews install this cement barrier along 18th and Cap Street in San Francisco's Mission District. I think it's the best thing they've done in forever. Yeah. Because the now you can get up in the middle of the night and there are no exploited women walking up and down the street. For the first time in 41 years, Connell says he's actually enjoying his neighborhood even if it means his relief is just pushing the problem down the road. It's somebody else's turn to have 40 years of this stuff. A turn his neighbor, Steve Bauer, is not ready to take. Yeah, that's, that's just obviously st stupid. There needs to be a safe place for sex workers to work. The irony is the barriers intending to block out the problem may just be creating a new one. Over the weekend, the local San Francisco Firefighters Union sent out this tweet that said, selfish decisions that put others at risk can have dire consequences. I wonder who is going to take credit for this, implying a large fire impacted their ability to provide rescues to the 300 block of Cap Street. Word spread quickly. I have heard that there was a massive explosion and the fire trucks could not get in to do their job. So it seems like a pretty high price to pay for dealing with, I guess, the complaints of some neighbors who don't like people driving up and down the street looking for sex. But it turned out there was no fire on Cap Street this weekend. The tweet actually confused many in the neighborhood. We were a little concerned. We said, uh-oh, are the barriers causing problems? And But then talking to other residents, we realized there hadn't actually been a fire, not only on the 300 block, but anywhere on Cap uh, since the, the barriers had gone up. It seemed like an abuse of a public platform, I'm misrepresenting uh, the truth. The truth is, many people appear to be at odds with how this situation is being handled. This is just all the signatures. More than 170 neighbors, including 60 seniors, signed a letter today expressing their support for the barricades. It was presented to the mayor and other city officials during a meeting discussing what will happen next. In the interim, you know, the mayor has decided that we're keeping the barricades up. Uh, you know, that, of course, it, it will cause a, a minor delay if there is a fire and that it's very concerning to us. But on the flip side, the danger that was in the street uh, from violence and, 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 and gunshots and um, traffic, you know, a, a pedestrian being hit was so severe. In the event of an emergency, are you concerned about response times? Nope. They just have to know how to get in. But other residents disagree, expecting more traffic, parking headaches, and delayed deliveries. It's a danger. And not to mention the inconvenience to the people who uh, live on the street. Now, Supervisor Ronan says over the next six weeks, the city will be designing and building a new system of barricades that will be bolted to the ground, removable only by a special tool the fire department can use in the event of an emergency. So this means every time they need to access any of those streets, they will have to physically remove really? these barriers. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm.